Okay, here I am. I got my bullhorn. Mary Franz is over there. I got a little sign. It's awfully cold, but uh, I'm gonna demonstrate, and um, I think it's terrible that she uh, pretends to be a Christian once a year and cares about the poor at Christmas and asks for food and donations for them. The rest of the year, she calls us a bunch of lazy rats who can't take care of ourselves and wouldn't survive in the wild. So here I go. I think it's really disgraceful that Representative Franzen can pretend to be a Christian and pretend to care about poor people at Christmas time. And the rest of the year, she runs her mouth about us and acts like we're not capable of taking care of ourselves or sustaining for ourselves in an economy that is stacked against us. Not everybody can have an educated job. There's always going to be a need for low skill workers and uneducated workers. There's always going to be a need for those people. They deserve some dignity all year long, not just at Christmas. They don't earn enough to take care of their basic needs, even though they work full time. And it's, it's very disgraceful that Eldon's Foods would allow Mary Franzen to pander like she does with her disingenuous request that we would help the poor at Christmas time all year long. She tries to cut our benefits that we need to survive. We work. We can't make enough to live. We can't make enough to eat or feed our kids decent. We can't afford our school lunch bills. Poor people do not earn enough to eat decent. It's not because they're lazy. Mary Franz would have you think that it is. And it's disgraceful that Eldon's Foods, who has all kinds of hardworking customers who come in there year round and use their SNAP benefits to support their family, feed their family, cook for their family, thank you. And it's disgraceful that Eldon Foods would let her do this and let her be act like she's nice at Christmas when the rest of the year she acts like we're lazy and can't take care of ourselves and compares us to animals. It's disgraceful. And I'm not going to allow, I'm not going to stand for it. I was born in this town. I'm raising my family in this town. And my, my kids work hard. I have a daughter who works full time. She gets staff benefits and she works hard. She doesn't earn enough to eat decent. Lots of us don't. And year after year, we keep sending her to St. Paul to run her mouths about us poor people. Well, us poor people have had it. Most of us are too ashamed and embarrassed to do what I'm doing. I was born without shame. And it doesn't bother me. I'm not ashamed of being poor. I know I'm poor because I was born poor, just like all the other poor people. The odds are against us, and people like Mary Franzen are against us too. It's a damn shame that she acts the way she does. Running her mouths about poor people. Acting like we're trying to defraud the system. Well, the fraud and waste in the food stamp program is less than one-tenth of one percent. And that's a fact. And most food stamp recipients work very hard and get very little food stamps. It's disgraceful. Mary Franzen, you should be ashamed. Eldon's Foods, you should be ashamed. And Todd Jensen, you should be ashamed too. It's a big charade. How can you be so disrespectful to your customers who live off these benefits and they work hard and they don't earn enough? How can you be so disingenuous to allow her to come here at Christmas time and act like she gives a rip? 